Let's plant some fall stuff in the Vegega raised garden bed. Hey guys, welcome back to Horticulture Geek. Thank you so much for joining me today here on the channel. I'm Ray, and today we are gonna be working in our Vegega.com raised garden bed. This is a metal um, raised garden bed from Vegega.com. I love this thing, it is amazing. Um, and as you can see, I've got some things planted in here already, but it's time to start thinking about fall. And so I picked up some fall crops to go in here. Let's flip the camera around and take a look. Okay, so if you were following my channel when we assembled the raised bed and got it planted, you'll know that I've got two jalapeno peppers and a tomato plant in this bed currently. But as you can see, I have plenty of room. I sparsely planted this because I got it planted late in the season, uh, but that now affords me an opportunity because I've got lots of space that I can go ahead and start putting in some fall crops. And I went ahead and picked up some lettuce and some Brussels sprouts. So we are gonna be planting lettuce and Brussels sprouts in the Vegega bed today. And I thought I'd bring you guys along for the process. So here we go. All right, so I've kind of propped in myself here up next to the jalapeno plant. Smells delicious, by the way. Um, I've got that jalapeno aroma coming out. Now these are no heat jalapenos or um, not a pinos or cool pinos. There's different names, but these are the jalapenos that don't really have heat. They're wonderful. I love them. Um, and these plants, are just going to town. I'll show you here. This is a little update. Given wonderful produce, okay? So, in a raised bed environment, if you remember when I planted this video, or when I did this uh, video where we planted these things, this raised bed is a controlled environment. So I filled it up with compost and nutrients and all sorts of fun stuff. And these plants are clearly loving their home. Now, the peppers did flop, and that's my fault. I did not stake the peppers, and we had a storm come through several weeks ago, and the rain kind of beat them down, and they just stayed that way. But it didn't bother me, and it hasn't bothered the plants. As you can tell, they're still going gangbusters to produce their crops. So I just left it alone, and it's fine. And I do have drip irrigation in this bed, so this bed is automatically watered. Now, since this bed is newer, um, it's only been here a few months, and I put compost and lots of really good, wonderful organic material into this bed when I did it, I don't need to amend it right now to put fall crops in. Now, if I was going to be doing fall planting into an older established bed um, after crops had been fully in it for a whole growing season, probably I'd wanna, not probably, I would. I would add uh, some organic matter into this system um, for vegetable crops. Not really needed when you're doing fall ornamental plantings like pansies, um, violas, mums, and things like that. Those plants aren't gonna grow um, a whole heck of a lot, and they don't require a whole heck of a lot. But when I'm talking about a Brussels sprout plug that is a cool season crop and is going to be here for three, four more months and is gonna get big and produce Brussels sprouts, this plant needs food. I've already got food in this bed, but if you don't have food in your bed, add some good organic matter and fertilizer when you put stuff in your fall gardens for vegetables. All right, now this, like I said, is a Vegega.com bed and I do love it, absolutely love it. Um, I can't say, uh, it just, it's beautiful. It looks brand new like it did the day I put it together. Um, it is holding up incredibly well. The soil is holding up in the bed really well. The plants are doing well in it. If you are interested in a raised bed like this, I do have a promotional code and link um, that will be on the screen here. And you can use my discount code, HortGeek10, to get 10% off of your Vegega.com bed if you're in the market for one. So just by uh, using my code, HortGeek10, you can get 10% off of anything you order from their website. So I highly recommend it. And then don't forget, I will put the link to that um, in the video and in the description as well. So feel free to do that. But now all that's left to do is get these 
plants planted into here for the fall crop. So let's do it. All right, guys, so I got my lettuce planted across the front and I put the Brussels sprouts across the back so they would have more room to grow up and develop back there. So that is a job well done. All right, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. It is time to start getting those fall crops in the ground, um, especially your fall vegetable crops. Um, give them time to develop and set roots and give you that harvest that you want. Um, now so that your plants can start growing while there's a little heat to get them really going and then by the time the cool weather really snaps in they should be good to go so think fall and start go ahead and putting those things into the ground if you have time energy and space to do that um, and again if you are interested in a vegiga raised bed use my code hortgeek10 for 10 percent off your order and uh, click on that link or go to vegiga.com to sign up and look at all their products and see what you you could have brought to your house. Um, it ships straight to the door, super easy to assemble. And if you want to, I will link my video right here of where I put my Vegiga bed together so you can see how it went from start to finish. Super easy. I hope you will enjoy everything. And like I said, if you've enjoyed this video today, give me a thumbs up. I hope it has inspired you to get out and start working in your fall garden. But until next time, guys, from my garden to yours, I wish you all the best and happy gardening.